This is Mi Lang, almost three weeks old. She was born at the Baltimore Zoo, and her mother died during the birth. The orphan was flown to the Knoxville Zoo to a substitute mother given. Now, the substitute mother already has a five-month-old baby, and zoo officials have decided not to mix the new arrival with the other apes just now because they don't know how the family of Gibbons will accept the new arrival. What's going to happen to Mi Lang? At uh, this time, we are getting some fake fur. I'll make a vest or just pin a piece on my shirt, and we'll let her cling to that, which will help develop her coordination. And uh, we'll take her out next to the given enclosure so she can see the other Gibbons and hear them and get an idea of what she's supposed to be like. Gibbons have extremely long arms and are natural tree dwellers in their native Southeast Asia. Mi Lang's home will be in this incubator for at least another month. Now, before you think there's any monkey business going on at the zoo, the Gibbons aren't the only ones announcing a new arrival. The Bobcats are getting into the swing of things, too. Meet Tracy the baby Bobcat, nearly two weeks old. She was taken from the mother, Rosie, for reasons clinic technician John Lightmaker tells us about. Well, her mother wasn't taking care of her, so we had to pull her. And uh, she was brought to the clinic within a couple days of birth. We had to get up with her every two hours at first, but gradually she's taken more and more, and we're cutting the feedings back. One thing about bobcats, in the wild, they'll run as long as they can run. But when cornered, a bobcat can become one of the most vicious animals on Earth. Somehow, it's hard to imagine Tracy ever getting like that. But now, if you're planning baby showers for the parents, you may as well plan for another one. These ostrich eggs will probably incubate for another month. Then they'll hatch and grow up to eventually look like this. I guess you could say there's a population explosion at the Knoxville Zoo. Most of us might think of it as the birth of a nation. Calvin Snead, Eyewitness News at the Knoxville Zoo.